Good morning, Nothing Tired. Today is Friday, March 17, 2023, and today is an 8 Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. St. Patrick's Day kicks off a worldwide celebration also known as the Feast of St. Patrick. On March 17th, many will wear green in honor of the Irish and decorate with shamrocks. According to the lore, the wearing of the green tradition dates back to a story written about St. Patrick in 1726. St. Patrick used the shamrock to illustrate the Holy Trinity and wore green clothing. And while the story is unlikely to be true, many will revel in the Irish heritage and eat traditional Irish fare too. To observe St. Patrick's Day, wear green, read up about St. Patrick's Day, cook up an Irish feast, or use hashtag St. Patrick's Day to post on social media. Your Viking track team will be competing at the Ronnie Williams Relay Friday, March 17th at Plaquemine High. Let's cheer on our athletes to victory. Go Vikings! The Viking softball team is playing Monday the 13th at Denham High Tuesday the 14th at Home versus Liberty, Thursday the 16th at Family Christian, and Saturday the 18th at Home versus White Castle. Let's show up and cheer on our athletes to victory. Go Vikings! The Spring Showdown Esports event is happening April 1st at SeaTech. We're getting closer and closer to determining this season's champions in Smash and Madden. If you're interested in competing, sign up on the form attached to this announcement in Google Classroom. As we get closer to state testing time, we're gonna start getting ready by reviewing our core concept. Each student is being put into a group to help them get from where they are to where they need to be. On those days, we'll follow a different schedule that we're showing on the screen. Notice that classes are shorter and we have our win time in the morning from 10.03 to 10.48 a.m. We also have dedicated reading time the first 15 minutes of the, the last class of each day. When this time starts, students and teachers are to drop everything they're doing and just read a book for 15 minutes. Ebooks are also good. The dates and the schedule for win dates are posted in the hallway TVs for your information. 11th graders interested in earning money over the summer while gaining work experience in technology, construction, medical, transportation, or liberal arts are encouraged to sign up for the five week summer program. Students who complete the program will earn 155 hours of internship experience, $15 per hour, and a high school credit. To learn more about the program, talk with Ms. Brown on the 200 hall or your counselor. Also, attached to this post in classroom will be a link to more information. The 13th annual Pinky Gordon Lane Poetry Contest is taking submissions. Named after Dr. Pinky Gordon Lane, the first African-American woman to receive a PhD from Louisiana State University, the contest is open to all 9th through 12th graders who can submit poems. If you're interested in participating, talk to your English teacher or Ms. Douglas for more details. Starting February 3rd, you can get nachos during both lunch shifts. Regular nachos cost $4 and nachos with chili and cheese cost $5. All proceeds go to funding the Northeast High baseball team. Remember here at Northeast High, we cannot hide our Viking pride. We are prepared, respectful, intelligent, determined, and excellent each and every day. Go Vikings!